you went to this spectacular place in Montana called the Sage Wall that nobody's heard of. My girlfriend's family lives in Montana uh, about two hours away and they've never even heard of this place. I'll tell you right now about Montana and people not knowing about Montana because it really has been going under the radar for quite a while. The Sage Wall in Montana is a fascinating discovery that has captured the attention of paleontologists and fossil enthusiasts. It's explained away as a dike or a geological formation, but it has a lot of different features to it that are not typical of dikes. Discovered in 2001 by a team of paleontologists led by Dr. Sarah Johnson from the University of Montana, this significant find was actually stumbled upon by accident. The team had been investigating a nearby site known for its dinosaur fossils. On their way back to base camp after a long day of excavation, one of the team members, Dr. Mark Stevens, noticed an unusual rock formation partially exposed on a hillside. Upon closer inspection, they realized they had uncovered an extraordinary fossil-rich formation. Located within the Judith River formation in the state of Montana, the Sage Wall sits in a region known for its abundant deposits of late Cretaceous fossils. The exact coordinates of the Sage Wall are kept confidential to protect the site from vandalism and unauthorized fossil collecting, but it is situated near the Missouri River. This picturesque backdrop adds to the allure of this significant paleontological site. If you're in the area or you want to see something which is mind-blowing, come to this yeah, site. absolutely. This is incredible. The Sage Wall dates back approximately 75 million years to the late Cretaceous period, an era characterized by a warm climate, high sea levels, and the dominance of dinosaurs on land. During this time, the area that is now Montana was part of the Western Interior Seaway, a vast inland sea that split North America into two land masses, Laramidia to the west and Appalachia to the east. This seaway played a crucial role in the geological and ecological dynamics of the region. This natural rock formation is primarily composed of sandstone and mudstone, which were formed through the deposition of ancient river sediments over millions of years. These sediments were carried by ancient rivers and streams from nearby mountainous regions, accumulating in layers that were eventually compressed and cemented into solid rock through the process known as lithification. The Sage Wall itself is an impressive geological structure, standing approximately 50 feet high and extending about 200 feet in length. The individual stones within the wall vary greatly in size, with some large blocks weighing several tons. These massive stones were likely transported by powerful ancient river systems, moved by significant water flows during periods of heavy rainfall or seasonal flooding. This site is particularly noted for its high concentration of dinosaur fossils. Additionally, the site has yielded significant plant fossils, providing insights into the ancient ecosystem of the late Cretaceous period. Key discoveries include a nearly complete juvenile hadrosaur skeleton and a small theropod with evidence of feathers, offering valuable information on dinosaur diversity, behavior, and evolution. The Sage Wall, while impressive in its structure, is a result of natural geological processes rather than human construction. The orderly deposition of sediments and the presence of natural cementing minerals align with known natural geological activity over millions of years, emphasizing its natural origin. While the Sage Wall's impressive structure might suggest a man-made or even mythical origin, such as being built by giants, all evidence points to it being a natural formation. It could simply be totally natural, a freak of nature, so to speak. But part of me, when I, again, when I first look at it, that gut impression is like, oh, come on, this has to be more than just natural. The layering, composition, and fossil inclusions within the wall align with known geological processes that occur over millions of years. The orderly deposition of sediments and the presence of natural cementing minerals indicate that the wall is a product of natural geological activity rather than human or mythical intervention. The Sage Wall is famous for its hadrosaur fossils, which include numerous bones and teeth. This specimen, along with others, underscores the importance of the Sage Wall as a window into the past, offering a detailed look at the ancient life that once thrived in what is now Montana. The Sage Wall has also yielded fossils of horned dinosaurs, such as ceratopsians. These fossils include skull fragments, horns and teeth, offering insights into the anatomy and behavior of these herbivorous dinosaurs. 
The discovery of theropod fossils, including relatives of Tyrannosaurus rex, has added to the site's significance. These fossils include bones and teeth, which help scientists understand the predatory habits and evolutionary relationships of these carnivorous dinosaurs. One of the most exciting discoveries at the Sage Wall is the fossilized remains of a small theropod dinosaur with evidence of feathers. This find has contributed to the understanding of the evolution of feathers and their role in dinosaur physiology and behavior. Additionally, plant fossils found at the sage wall include well-preserved leaves, seeds, and petrified wood. During the late Cretaceous, the area where the sage wall is located was a lush, subtropical environment with rivers, forests, and abundant wildlife. This contrasts sharply with the semi-arid climate of modern-day Montana. The region supported a diverse range of plant life, including conifers, ferns, and flowering plants which provided food and shelter for a variety of herbivorous and carnivorous dinosaurs. An interesting comparison can be made between the Sage Wall and the famous Dinosaur Provincial Park in Alberta, Canada. Both sites are rich in late Cretaceous fossils and provide valuable insights into the ecosystems of that time. However, while Dinosaur Provincial Park is known for its wide variety of dinosaur species, the Sage Wall is particularly noted for its exceptionally well-preserved fossils and the evidence of possible nesting sites. Another fascinating comparison is with the Hell Creek Formation, also located in Montana. Both sites are rich in late Cretaceous fossils and provide valuable insights into the ecosystems of that time. While the Hell Creek Formation is known for its diverse array of dinosaur species, including the iconic Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops, the Sage Wall stands out for its exceptional fossil preservation and the potential evidence of dinosaur nesting sites. This comparison highlights the unique contributions of each site to paleontology. One intriguing theory arising from the study of the Sage Wall is that the area may have been a nesting ground for certain dinosaur species. Evidence supporting this theory includes the discovery of nesting sites, eggshell fragments, and juvenile dinosaur fossils. The presence of these fossils suggests that the Sage Wall region provided a suitable environment for raising young, with abundant vegetation for food and protection from predators. This theory offers valuable insights into the reproductive behavior and life cycles of dinosaurs during the late Cretaceous period. This leads us to another fascinating paleontological site, Dinosaur Provincial Park in Alberta, Canada. Located about 48 kilometers northeast of the town of Brooks, the park sits within the Red Deer River Valley, known for its striking Badlands topography. Designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979, the park is celebrated for its outstanding paleontological significance, scenic landscapes, and diverse ecosystem. The rock formations in Dinosaur Provincial Park date back to the late Cretaceous period, approximately 75 to 77 million years ago, marking the tail end of the age of dinosaurs. The park features a variety of sedimentary rock layers, including sandstones, shales, and mudstones. These layers were deposited by ancient rivers and deltas, creating a rich tapestry of geological history. With over 500 dinosaur specimens removed and displayed in museums worldwide, Dinosaur Provincial Park is one of the richest dinosaur fossil locales on the planet. The park has yielded fossils from over 40 different species of dinosaurs, representing a broad range of the dinosaur clade, including both herbivorous and carnivorous dinosaurs. In addition to dinosaurs, the park has provided fossils of other prehistoric creatures, including fish, turtles, and early mammals. Plant fossils are also abundant, offering insights into the ancient ecosystems that once thrived in the region. During the late Cretaceous, the area that is now Dinosaur Provincial Park was a lush, subtropical environment with rivers, lakes, and floodplains, supporting a diverse range of plant and animal life. The climate during the late Cretaceous was warmer and more humid than today, contributing to the rich biodiversity of the region. One of the most remarkable features of Dinosaur Provincial Park is its extensive bone beds. These areas contain large numbers of dinosaur bones, often representing mass mortality events. The Centrosaurus bone bed, for example, contains the remains of hundreds of individuals, providing a snapshot of a moment in time and offering an incredible window into the past.